everyone, we have Drenusha here, who is a student in Pristina, Kosovo, and I've invited her here just to share her inspiring story and how she overcame challenge. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, of course. Uh, first of all, hello for everyone. Like my friend said, my name is Renusha. I came from Prizrend. I study here in Pristina. I'm a musician student. Also, I'm a writer. I paint. I play instruments and stuff. Okay, so what, what are your passions in life? What do you enjoy? I enjoy music. I play sports. I like talking with people and share the things that we can do and everything. And how did we meet? We meet in my university. Uh, I was curious to ask you some questions and then this starts like this. Uh, so we had a, um, a lecture about peace design principles and you're really passionate about sharing your experiences. Uh, what did you share uh, with the other students and ourselves? Yes, this is true. I, um, I shared my past, like um, in the, for the time when I was depressed and my, my whole school was uh, bullying me for who I am and who I was. I told about how I was struggling with things. So we gave a lecture yesterday about the peace design principles and at one point you were very brave and um, wanted to share your opinion with the rest of the students and ourselves. Uh, what, what message did you have for the students at UBT? Yes, this is true. I told about my past in the time when I was struggling with things, depression and being bullied and stuff. Uh, the reason why I told my friends uh, was to encourage them to move on and to not let anyone stop them for anything or everything that they want to do in life. So this is the reason why, because um, I had um, I had moments when I wanted to stop everything to let my dreams go. And I was so down, but I learned from it and now I'm here. And this is why I always tell about my past to everyone that I met, like maybe in the first day or when we go for a coffee or stuff. Because people always tell me, why, why you share this? They can take it. Um, for negativity or something, but I don't think that this so, um, is true. Do people often take your past as a negative or how do people react when you tell them your story? Well, most of them found their self in me. Uh, they knew that they weren't alone in this world or the only person that is struggling with things. I wanted to be their voice and to tell them that they are not alone. You're not alone, in fact, in anything. And, but it wasn't a negativity, negative thing for them. It was a courage to move on and stuff, you know. But sometimes uh, a human can struggle with things is normal. I what did you want to encourage people to do? Uh, well, for this uh, I write books. Um, means that I'm a writer. The books, the theme of the books is always about courage people. People to know that a way to feel happy or feel better it's always inside of us. Sometimes we just need help from the family or friends or anyone else but in the end of the day we have it inside of us for example we can try to go out walk and listen music we can read something like uh, psychology books or books that we like we can dance we can do funny things even if you're alone or i don't know you can watch movies like dramas or comedy or you know better uh, but the most important thing is um, to not to be open with people try tr to try to meet uh, many people and to know their stories and to tell your story and maybe between you and someone it's something that you both of you can relate about and I don't know, 
I just want people to be happy and I want to make people feel happy because when I make someone happy it makes me happy even more and I want to say to everybody that no one is alone in this world um, when I was bullied in my in high or middle school everyone told me that I wasn't enough I wasn't ugly and I'm not smart and stuff I just wanted to tell that everyone is beautiful in the way they are you just need the eyes to see um, everyone is smart everyone is enough we the lecture was about peace in the world right um, what does that mean for me is that we should um, share or we should share more like true love love in a conditional way uh, we have to help each other for everything in so we say it has got door <laughs> to and um, I don't know Sometimes it's hard to express our feelings, I know, but we have to do it because you feel more free. For example, I always feel free. Now, it's been like two years and um, I'm better than I was. And how I, do, how I did it or why I'm more happy now is because I share things. Like if you, uh, if you keep inside of you they will always kill you like uh, little by little or day by day so i think that needs um, has to share their things i know that you can think okay they will uh, hurt me or they don't care about or stuff but in the end of the day it makes you feel more free so uh, sometimes the people that struggle with things always say or ask God for example why me you don't have to ask why me because God knows where or to who like what so, little bit I have to find uh, so how did you recognize that things must change in your life for example if someone's going through difficulty or struggles or depression what was the turning point for you? What made you think, oh yes, I need to find a way out of this? Um, well, um, sometimes I try to watch my photos when I was little um, and when I watched the young me, I was like, does she deserve this? And in my mind was a big no. So from then I started to do the things that makes me happy so I always uh, remember the young me when I had dreams when I wanted to do something when I did plans and stuff and I don't want that that girl to stop dreaming stop working or giving up because she deserves I think I deserve the whole world for me and for everyone in this world so every, and like I said before everyone struggles with things but we don't have to stop there we have to move on and we have to find the way what made me oh, it's my family I mean for everyone it's their family so that's why. In the yesterday when I did this lecture, I told about my mom that she's not alive anymore, and I do. That I also, perhaps for myself, I also do for her because I want her to make her happy for me. I want that dad uh, to say, "Oh, she's my daughter," you know. And she's making me proud. I want to make my family happy. And that's why uh, I was like, stop the emotion. No? Everyone struggles, have struggles, but you have to move on. Stop overthinking. Stop thinking negativity things. They said that I wasn't enough, but I am. They said that you are not smart, but I am smart. 
beautiful or whatever that said to me. We, everyone has their life a way that they do. No, you can't say in English this. What was the saying in Albanian? <laughs> in Albanian is um, just ye pratash ye. Be who you are. Doesn't matter if he or she or they likes you. If you look yourself in the mirror and you say, "This is me. This is that's what makes me happy." Then it's okay. You don't you don't need to be liked by people. People are loved. First of all, if you like and love yourself, people will do it. So, I have some mm, things that I do when I feel sad. I also meditate, you know, makes me feel better. And I watch motivational um, videos on YouTube, you can find many of them. I don't like when people are sad and listen a sad song for example because that makes you worse no um, and this is not good for example you can listen tag for example it's a good music to listen when you uh, feel sad because for example it makes me happy maybe it makes you happy too and the question another question okay <laughs> um so what was the main source of um, your unhappiness then? Because you said a lot of people were putting you down. Um, was that in school or friendship groups or where did lots of those struggles come from? Well, it was from my school. Um, I lived in village. I finished my high school in village. And villages here in Kosovo are so like with their minor in 19s or I don't know. I play football, I was a football player and they are a girl to play football. It was normal, like killing someone, you know, it was a crime. And I was a girl like boy, I, uh, I was like with baggy jeans and stuff and they were like, be a more girl, don't play sports, do, do this, don't do this, but I never stopped. Uh, this is what makes me sad, um, but I now I don't care because at the end of the day, you know, the people who didn't like you before, maybe two years ago or months, when you achieve something, they come back, and I don't know the reason. No, so you don't have to listen to them because here in Kosovo we say. Um, if uh, English uh, means uh, if they are talking about you means that your things are good because there are in, in this world there are people that doesn't want you to uh, doesn't want to see you good and when they don't want to see you good they do uh, bad things to you and they say stuffs they just want to make you feel not good i think but don't do this really sometimes people say oh i will talk how i want uh, you can take it how you want and stuff no when you talk first you have to think if i say this it's gonna hurt him or her or not like you have to think and then talk because your words can, for example, makes me feel not good, can make me feel bad, and it's not a good thing to do it, I, you know? So try to love more, try to help, try to accept people for who they are and what they do. If you don't like that person, then just ignore him or don't talk to him, you know? I don't like everyone, not everyone likes me and it's not like you don't need to like everyone and I'm not good in everyone's stories, for example I can be 
a bad person for you or I don't know what just ignore me don't tell me that I'm not enough don't tell me that I'm not smart or beautiful or you're not worth it or I don't know if a person say that you're not a good person maybe for another person you're good so you don't have to listen to anyone like I'm sorry for my English, <laughs> but I'm trying at least. I don't know. Sometimes we have to think about that why I, what I am in this world, and what I'm doing, and what I'm gonna do. Do plants make dreams? Sleep? Go play? make friends, share things and sometimes don't forget to stay alone and talk with yourself I do maybe mm, three times a week I talk with myself makes me feel better, I don't know why but do it um, if you do think that you want makes you feel better if you do something that makes that thing makes someone else happy, I don't know, it's a good thing. I don't know. Just, uh, you have to be proud for yourself. You woke up every day and breathe again and again. And everyone deserves to be in this world. Everyone deserves to be in this but we need to work for it please don't stay in your home by being so lazy for example I don't know go out, make fun go like to a place where music is or I don't know just do it like you want um, it's not a choice or to cry, I cried maybe for years, but it didn't take me anywhere. Like I also listen sad songs too, but did I feel better? No, I didn't. It made me worse. So it's not a choice. Take yourself more down and down and down than people are doing it. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm sure your family are incredibly proud of you and your achievements. Uh, do you have any final messages or for final words for anyone who may be in your uh, past situation or any messages for people who might be struggling at the moment? Yes, I have. Um, well, all the messages was the things that I said. But take risks. No, or lose everything. No, just go. How can I say in English? Go out from yourself sometimes. You know, do crazy things, and don't live for other people. Live for yourself. Uh, breathe the air for yourself and not for anyone. I also wanted to say that to love your family. You know, the most important thing in this world is your family. But everything that you do, do it for yourself and not for them. They just need to be loved, not to do it because I, I am pretty sure that every parent in this world wants to see their daughter or, I don't know, kid, boy, happy. Just work for your dreams and achieve them. I know that when we are working or stuff, we can have trouble things or problems with people, with things. But that's not a, uh, th that's not a reason to stop that. We just have to move on. And this is life. Uh, in my book, always... Um, I said that 
if we don't have quiet people that don't talk we couldn't understand like noisy things no um, just no it's better for this world that is a good thing and it's a bad thing because if it wasn't for the bad thing we could understand the good thing no just everything is like a circle in this world so you have to move on and every and uh, I want to say this before you sleep you have to hug yourself because you need the most so this is it I hope everyone to feel better I hope that everyone to achieve their dreams and so not think that they are alone in this world no one is alone at least I'm here for everyone that feels sad or needs to talk about something or I don't know just be free with yourself so this is it I hope people will love this I'm sorry again for my English, but I tried <laughs> in my way. So this is it. Anna, thank you so much for sharing uh, your inspiring message and story. I really appreciate it, and I'm sure the viewers will also. So thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Thank you.